Sorry, Wayne. One below, one below, mate. This has gone. Uh, this is very good, man. <laughs> So that's on now, right? Is that right? You want to knit, knit your head around there and I'll see you. <laughs> this is YouTube. Oh, yeah, there I am. Just came up from there. Yeah. Yeah, just came up from there. So now we're on there. That's all. But this is you, so yeah. So now what we're saying is you want yeah, that back on right. So what I've got to do now is get that off. Right? Yeah. It's only the camera sound that's on. That's on. Two, 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 two. Hi guys, apologies for the lateness of the stream, just a few technical difficulties that we're finding. I'm just going to do a quick test and then we will have Mink versus the man on your screens, Kim Larkson and Finnish champion in the past. And this is a special exhibition match to welcome Mink to the Taum Chalk team. And we're going to play a race to nine, nine ball. No start. We've decided to not let Kimmy have a start. He's going to have to play level. So hopefully you're hearing us loud and clear now. Let us know, guys, if you're logged in on the chat.
So we're going to get going in a minute guys, just a couple of last minute checks and we're good to go. So here we go guys, there is Kim Larkson and, and we're going to have the lag between Mink, nickname Mink147, that's because she has had a few 147s, maximum breaks at snooker, she's predominantly a snooker player but she's also been Thai nine ball champion as well. So Kim Larkson and has won the lag and the reason for this exhibition Mink has just been signed by Taum TaumBilliards.com and we're going to have Jonas Ottenen pop in the booth and have a little chat in a few minutes and we're also going to have a representative from Thailand Pool Tables who are a sponsor of mink also and there you see the town rack the brand new town template rack just being removed by our Finnish pro Kim Larksonen so good break good starter on the one ball high right and the cue ball now I don't think that three ball passes the nine but it certainly passes the five into the other corner could really put a big stroke on this as well though go high as well with a bit of left hand spin and play the three into the side well, he has played for it past the five ball unfortunately this is really awkward queuing What a shot that was, queuing over the top of the eight ball. He's going to draw off the side rail. Oh no, he could just go in and out of the corner, even better. Three rails now with a bit of right hand spin swinging it round that's really nice just drop this seven ball in apologies for no scoreboard guys that was part of the problem that we were trying to get the scoreboard working but it, we just couldn't get it working tonight but I'll keep you up to date with the score, no problem. So draw straight back. And we could just go onto the rail as well. So a round of applause. And there's a nice little crowd gathered in here. It's a very special holiday in here. It might be a little bit quieter in here than normal tonight because today is a Buddha celebration day. So alcohol is not on sale on Buddha days, not till midnight tonight. So a normally boisterous crowd will be a lot more subdued 
no alcohol flowing and we're coming to you live from mega break in the center of Patia. Yeah, just a little bit soft on the break there trying to make the one in the side pocket so now Kimmy can play a push out but he's going to go this is an exhibition so don't expect too much seriousness here come on Kimmy kick it two rails make it in the side come on Thanks, Haki. Sound is great as always. So he is playing a push out. Oh, taking no prisoners here. He's giving it straight back. Yeah, Mink says, go on, you can have that one. What did he have in mind? Oh, good effort, and he's going to get cover here as well. Now, is there a gap through? 24 year old Mink from just outside Bangkok. Oh, unlucky. All the way round the back. And she is the first Thai town sponsored snooker player. And hopefully, it's going to be a thing of, well, the start of something big. She's actually based in Sheffield in the UK. She goes to Q School there. It's gone a little bit wrong. Gonna have to play the three six combo if he's to continue the break. Continue the break. I'm, taught, I'm getting my snooker mixed up with Paul here, aren't I? He's taking this a little bit seriously. So two rails. Top rail, side rail. Nice solid hit. Needs a bit of luck. Hasn't got it. Has tied up the four ball slightly, but as you can see, as soon as that three ball disappears, there's a chance of the four or five combo. Tried the bank. Now then, a first open look at a shot for Mink. Oh, beautiful shot. Terrific cueing. Beautiful cueing. That long, slow backswing. The pause. And then the smooth delivery. And you see the snooker stance. I just slightly misjudged the combo but she decided to play safe instead. Yeah, it 
it's very hard for for Mink to make the transition. I think we should get Kimmy on the snooker table after this. That's what we should do. So we'll probably like to catch the second rail as well, just to flick off the edge of the six in making this. Well, a little bit too thick, so another chance. And she can get past the five and play the five into the same pocket. And she's decided to hold it. That's just as good. She looks about 12, 13 years old, doesn't she? But she's 24. And I think everybody in this room right now, apart from Kimmy, of course, hoping that Mink's going to run these out. She's come round and had a look at the angle, and it's a really cool shirt, isn't it? Mink 147, number one. So, our choice is here in the side we're going. Natural position for the nine into this bottom left hand corner as we look to level the scores oh yes okay I thought she caught it a bit thick it's okay yeah just caught that eight ball slightly wrong but it's okay just cut this in nicely done and a very warm round of applause for Mink uh, <laughs> Such a great personality, and she's happy to get a rack on the board. Now she can settle down. And even the break is just so different to snooker. She was having a little practice earlier. She has played the game before, but hasn't really studied it. Snooker's the main game for Mink. But she has been nine ball champion of Thailand. And there you see the wing ball and the one going in and a nice clear shot at the two ball also so I might just widen the angle here just below centre swing the cue ball round He's caught that very thin, hasn't he? Overcut it, but played to perfection. So he wants to be just off straight on this five ball to get close to the six. Can use a rail here if he so wishes and come towards the six on the line. Just get past that eight ball, which he has. draw just past the nine ball here so you can go all around or just play some yeah chose to go all around coming in on the line Mink just off camera giving a round of applause 
This is very friendly. She's taking it friendly, but I'm not sure that Kimmy is. Has anyone told Kimmy this is an exhibition? There's Nay, our racker. Now, Nay's sister is also a very, very good pool player. Plays on the Thai team. So, come on, Mink. Watch for the four ball in the corner and the one ball in the side. That's the two main balls. Uh, the four got kicked away. Just lacking a little bit of power, but she seems happy enough. Maybe has a. Does he have a look at the potting angle? Well, I always seem to get the squeaky chair. Yeah, I didn't have the potting angle, but Mink certainly does. Now, how can she get to the two ball, though? Made several 147s, but has made one in a tournament as well. But of course, Paul, a completely different game. We've seen lots of players over the years try their hand at Paul, switching from snooker. Most famously, Judd Trump. Also, Gary Wilson has had his fair share of attempts, but it's just that there's so little money in Paul that it's just not worth snooker players investing any time into practicing the game and they are totally different disciplines so two rail kick at this try and clip it in Once again, round the back of it. And she seemed to be digging down on the cue ball there just a bit, so buried that cue ball into the rail, changed the angle. Four ball, I'm not sure if it passes. nine into the corner now he needs to leave himself a decent angle could play short side if he leaves himself an angle on this three could maybe just rearrange the ball slightly now, from the shot he's played there that tells me that this four ball does pass the nine into the corner so cue ball round probably three rails here Nicely done. Now just a little stun off the side rail. Leaves him perfect on the five. Wobbled it a little bit. May go into the nine here. I could avoid it.
So if this nine ball. Got a three one lead and in it goes. So Jonas with the break. Well, this is a nice opportunity now. Nice easy starter on the one. Two waiting over the side. Three, four, five all in close proximity so it's all about getting onto the two ball and from the two to the three now has she got a little bit of an angle It's now 3-1 to Kimi. Apologies for the lack of scoreboard. Now then, how close is she to this three ball? Yeah, cannot double hit. You can push through if it's touching, but it's not touching. It's just a little bit of a gap. She can play the five combo. unlucky but she's got some cover she's got cover well, I call in Kimmy the kicker very very good he's like a Finnish Efren Reyes we can go round first here just has to be careful Is he going straight at it, is he? No, he's going round first. Just watch he doesn't follow this in. Oh, he's missed it altogether. Well, that didn't look possible. So another chance. And this match was kind of sprung on her as a surprise. She didn't know. She thought she was just going to sign a contract with Town Billiards. Just struggling slightly at the moment. It's pretty close to that three ball. Kim got away with that really. Could have left something easier. I don't think there's going to be a lot left after this visit, though. Left hand up, so bring the cue ball back over this side. Can reach this, no problem. Got options here. Thank you very much. Did you hear that, guys? He just said he <laughs> likes my commentary. <Yeah. laughs> 
So in goes the nine ball. <laughs> Four one. Can you say it a little bit louder next time, please? <laughs> so we're going to try and get Jonas Ottenen over here for a quick chat. One of the the owners of Town Billiards. He is the O in Town. Jonas Ottenen. Good evening, Jonas. Good evening, good evening. So, just run us through very, very quickly why we're here. What's gone on today? It's amazing. We signed today uh, Mink, who is the number one in the world, the snooker player, and uh, we're so happy to sign her on our team. And you can see her attitude when, he, when she plays and always give respect for good shots. Just the right kind of person we need on our team. Yeah, she really does fit the yeah. brand very, yes, very yes. well, doesn't she? Class. And Classic. obviously it's not her number one game. I think we should see how Kimmy is on the snooker table. <laughs> yeah, after this we can, I, I, I think we're going to do that next time we challenge uh, her on her uh, environment. Let's get Kim down to yes. high end and yes. see what he's like That's on a 12 foot table. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> okay, thanks, Jonas. All right, catch you later. Jonas Ottenen, the O, he put the O in town. Mika Imminen put the M in it. Tony put the T. And I think it was Andrew who put the A in it. And that's where the name town comes from. So 4-1 at the moment to Kim Larksonen. Race to nine. And the last thing I expected to be doing today was commentating on another pool match. I've actually been up all night commentating on the Predator Las Vegas Open. Men's and women's. Who knows, we may even see this young lady playing pool one day wants to concentrate on her snooker though number one in the world oh very nice bank shot a little smile she enjoyed that one look and Jonas just mentioned her attitude and she's so polite typical Thai very very laid back and calm a sweet personality doesn't want that too in it stayed up. This is good. Come on, Mink. Also played in the Chinese eight ball. Very good Chinese eight ball player. I think she might be going to China as well. Yeah, and she's such a good sport. Had no idea that she would be playing pool today and doesn't have a, any pool cues or anything, so she's borrowed the pool cues from Jonas. But she's very inquisitive and she's asking, you know, getting people's opinion on what shots to play. I didn't know Kim was going to take this so seriously. I would have asked for more money. seen the other night Kim Larkson had a challenge against Jeffrey De Luna 
and after a very very close start three breaking runs for each player followed by a dry break from Kim and all of a sudden the score was 10-3 and Kim ended up losing the race to 21 by 21 racks to 5 but this is just a bit of fun think about it four and a half inch pockets for those that are wondering and it goes five racks to one in comes Nay and we're using the new Talm Max Rack the latest in template design from the Boffins in Finland. You having fun, Mink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made the wing ball. Has a look at the one, but I don't think can do much with it. I wonder would he consider playing Rao first here and try and combo the five into the corner. Come on, Kimmy, this is an exhibition. Come on. Can he kick this one five combo? Side rail. In the bank just a safety always oh, Chinese snooker to look over the top and she's applauding yeah, this is a bit nasty seven ball in the way on the right hand side could go two rails here maybe make it in the side Just past the side pocket. Lots of right hand spin. She's going one rail, is she? Yeah, completely different cushions than snooker cushions. Completely different size table as well. And on a snooker table, you have what's called steel block cushions. So they react totally different. And when I say steel block cushions, there's a thin, about five millimeters, thick piece of steel that runs between the rubber and the rails. And it just makes the cushions a lot more springier. On a, on a snooker table are much more true. I over hit this slightly. Little shake of the head. Can make the three, but how does he get to the five? Could go four rails here. Maybe play a Jeffrey DeLuna five rail positional shot. I think he's going all round here. All round the angles. Oh, he tried to go just straight up and down. another chance for Mink now she's going to play this left handed look is she? no 
I thought she was going to go left-handed for a second. She's going to get the rest out. Of course you are. She's a snooker player. There'll be no stretching. Now let's have a look at this rest technique. And there you see the elbow nice and parallel to the bed of the cloth. Really, really nice. Nice technique. No, I didn't want to hit it. just shows the difference in the two games doesn't it a lot of people are often comparing which sport is harder and both as difficult as each other and very very different sports also so safety was she going for the bank yeah safety needs it to bounce though well Kimmy a long straight in five ball six will pass the nine Gift there for Mink. Come on, Mink. Five one. Be nice to get another rack. Put a bit of pressure on him. Wants this to run just a little bit more. I might have to get the rest out again. Can she stretch and reach it? comes the rest oh, this is a real stretch <laughs> she's not she's not the uh, she's not the tallest of players is she Yeah, Jonas just shouting to her, use the extension, use the extension. I wonder what he was talking about. We're not even using a shot clock. Of course, he means the key extension. Wow, good shot. And played with lots of right hand spin as well. Swung it round the angles and finished really nice on this seven ball. Now this would be a really tough shot on a snooker table, but it's a well, it's a normal bread and butter shot, isn't it, on a pool table? It's an ideal position. Yeah, lovely stroke. quite a long pause as well which most snooker players do have rest comes out again now look at that technique see how the elbow and the hand parallel to the bed of the cloth and a really nice finish well played mink goes to five racks to two the comeback is on oh and she runs to the scoreboard to put a score up Unfortunately, guys, we haven't got the scoreboard up working. But it is 5-2. Mink trailing, and she will be breaking. It's 
So look out for the four ball into the corner. Very close. One also went very, very close. But she has made a random ball, did she? No, nine on the table still. So dry break. And it really is just a shot that, well, it's just totally different to the break at snooker, isn't it? You're trying to do very little damage with a break at snooker, but a pull sometimes hit it as hard as you can is the best policy. But she is the world number one. In snooker. Oh, been very lucky again. See left hand spin on the cue ball. Good solid hit, and she's got him back as well. I think she might have enjoyed that one. Maybe just get the jump stick out here. I'm actually going to ask Mink what snooker cue she plays with. I'm wondering if it's a John Paris or maybe it's a, a local cue maker. So Mink uses Nishkyu, which is made here in Thailand. So two rails. And got her back again. <laughs> Tap on the table. So this will be two rails also. Top rail, the short rail, side rail. Maybe just after the side pocket. Well, she's just going straight up and down, is she? Well, if she catches the one ball right, she might get behind the three. She has gone the two rails. Oh! Almost caught it off the third rail. Very, very close. Ball in hand. Playing the 1 3 combo to start with. And cue ball over on the side rail. Oh, 
also come back and swing it round two rounds in and out of the corner. Now options here can go twice across. Take a little risk and play a lot of draw. I think he's just going forwards though, side to side. Oh, he did come down, took the risk, got past the side pocket, perfectly on the full ball. Draw low right hand English and the cue ball side rail back to where it is now roughly. Oh, really got a good stroke on that and that's just about perfect. Yeah, just before the side pocket there lots of right hand spin. Teasing the cue ball down, perfect on the nine. And in it goes, six racks to two. Kim Larkson then leads the snooker player. So Mink has just nipped out for a quick break. And we're just going to have a quick word with Kim Larkson and while well, Mink has gone to the bathroom. Yeah. So how is it playing against a snooker player? I just want to let you know that you're going to have to play snooker against Mink next. Oh, sure. I'm going to do that. Yeah. It will be fun. <laughs> um, what's your highest break, Kim? Hers. Yours? Uh, 124 total. So he's made a 124. Mink's made a 147. Yeah, in a tournament. And was yours in and the tournament? multiple times practice, I heard. She's, yeah, she is a, she's good. Yeah. But doesn't it just show you, Kimmy, how hard it is for, you know, obviously a class snooker player, world number one, right? It's so hard to switch disciplines. Everyone keeps saying, oh, what's harder? Is Paul harder? Yeah. Is snooker harder? She's totally different, right? Of course, especially when you never played before pool. You know, it's, it's a different game, you know? And using equipment that she's never even yeah, yeah. laid her hands it's, on before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tough. I can imagine, you know, because I, I mean, I assume she's never played pool pool before. I assume. I don't know. Not for a long time. She just right, doesn't right. practice anymore. Oh, but okay. she has won the wor uh, the world. She has won the Thai national championships nine ball. Well, she but, has. but a long time ago right. she just doesn't play mm -hmm. and you know yourself it's like you just going and picking up a snooker cue for the first time in, yeah, in years I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so are we going to arrange that sometime kim larkson for and sure. paul player against for sure yeah Mink. i'm down i'm down excellent yeah. thanks kim good luck in the rest of the match mate so we're gonna we're gonna arrange that we're gonna have kim larkson and on a snooker table and see how he likes it minks back So Kim to break. Oh, it's dry. Now then, is there a possible one nine combo? Possibly. 
possible billiard on the 1-9. Has she seen it? I think she has seen it. I'm not sure if it's on or not. She's studying it. She has seen the shot. Good effort. It was on its way. Had the nine ball moving. Could play this one to the corner and the cue ball may be running into the two ball. Who knows? He might even make the two. Can't quite see the angle he's got. I think the cue ball's going into the two. He might make the two ball here. Could go all out for the two. Yeah, I think two ball it is. Mighty close. Missed the two ball altogether, so I judged that angle wrong. Another chance for Mink. Cue ball round for the two in the side. Oh, she's overhit it. It's okay. We have Savannah Easton from the back. Now, I wonder what she's going to play here. She could combo the nine. She could billiard the nine. Decisions, decisions. She's a billiard player at all. Lots of snooker players in the old days would practice English billiards to learn their angles. Well, it had a chance, but kind of a, a two way shot as well. Good shot. Got cover. Now, are we going to see the jump cue? <laughs> I wonder, will we see the jump cue? <laughs> oh, it's going to swerve around it. <laughs> Who wants to see the jump cue? <laughs> tempt him the swerve it is that's a right hand spin roughly where that the red dot is on the cue ball that's where he's going to be hitting spin the cue ball around the five catch maybe the rail just before the three. Oh, great effort great effort Great effort. Nice stroke. Nicely on the four ball. Now she's got an angle to get over towards the five. 
could just draw it back off the side rail and leave herself another go at the, far, uh, the nine. And she's going straight across. Yeah, it was, I think she put a lot of attention on Karamin into the five ball there. Just took her eye off the, the four maybe. slightly doesn't like it yeah great shot he's going to have to play this though past the seven ball I think it passes the seven naturally over towards the six just roll this in as straight as you like on the seven hold with a stun shot for the eight Amsterdam might need the rest himself here Just, just reach it. He's a youngster, 31 years old. Oh, almost a foul then. If he'd have dropped that rack on the ball, it would have been a foul. And I'd have pulled him about it as well. So, nicely done. Simplest of nine balls. 7 2, just two away from victory. Now, I heard a rumour that we could have some Chinese eight ball action as well. We've got the, the big grand finals coming up in Jingdao next month. Stuart Petman is in town. He's come for some practice, and I've heard through the grapevine that there's going to be. A challenge match between Stewart and Kim Larkson and on the Chinese eight ball table in double kiss. So we'll let you know more about that when it's arranged. Made the wing ball. And has a look at the one as well. really wouldn't think that she's 24 years old would you look yeah, nicely done pockets completely different to a snooker table as well rounded pockets on a snooker table Nicely done. Oh, 
now then just had a look at this I think if she plays the four ball into the right hand corner pocket she'll be going into the, the nine ball and something might happen with this nine just play to make the four That's unlucky. She can play. She might have to get the rest out here. She can play the combo. Or maybe. Is the bank on? Maybe can bank it. And she's coming round to have a look at the nine. She's got that cheeky grin on her face. She's planning something. competitiveness is in all pros and she'd love to make this she'd love to see this nine go in so would the crowd get in there great shot <laughs> she enjoyed that Seven three the score. Is the break. Don't think he has a shot on the one ball, so probably have to play a push out. Calls a push out. left to attempt her it's going to play around the back yeah exactly that she doesn't want to give this back because he'll go rail first and make this one ball oh, very close Good pace on the cue ball. make this the cue ball should be going up towards the two just graze off the edge of the three well 
He did get there, but didn't make the one ball. So, chance again for Mink. Oh, she's lost the cue ball slightly, wants it to hold up. It's okay, can play this in the side. There you see that wide suit snooker stance. She's drawing to the side rail back over. Oh, that's a really confident shot. Well, this cuts in. They need to rest again, but it will cut in. Cue ball heading the way of the four anyway. It's a thin one, but it's makeable. I think they're both getting serious now. They can play the bank shot here. Players are two way. Nicely done. Now, has he got an angle? He has. Low left on the cue ball. Both side rails. Doesn't want to be straight. He's not. Played it nicely. So this to get on the hill. is again to deciding to draw off the side route back over slight angle on this can just run the cue ball through so bread and butter nine ball Larkson and on the hill, in it goes. And it will be Mink to break. Now she's got the, the red BK rush in her hands. So six ball in the corner. Oh, I got kicked out of the way, but made the one in the side. Now then, can she just snip this two ball into the side pocket? Snooker players aren't scared of side pockets, but these are cut different. Drop this in dead weight. Nicely done. It's going to be the rest again, though, I believe. Can just stop the cue ball. Replace the three ball with the cue ball. That's what you need to do here. Yeah, I'm 
not sure what she's done there. Didn't finish the stroke. She's landed the wrong side of this four. She's still smiling though. She's having fun. Hope you guys are. She's okay. I think she's got the edge of this five ball to cut it in. Natural angle to take it to the six. Nicely done. Nicely done. Needs an angle on this six ball. She's got it. Now she can get the cue ball over onto that side rail. Could be another rack on the board here for the snooker player. Oh, well, she got perfect on the seven, but you forgot to pop the six. of right hand spin on the cue ball now options here can just stop it dead play the 8 into the side can draw back and play the 8 into the same pocket that's what he's decided to do so straight forward 9 ball once again to get on the hill for the fin. And he goes. One away from victory. Oh, is, is that it? Oh, it's over. Well, I lost I lost a rack somewhere. I lost a rack along the way. So congratulations to Kim Larkson and thank you so much to Mink also for bravely just picking up somebody else's pool cue and joining in the fun. And this was to welcome Mink to the Town Billiards Pro Team, the first Thai snooker player to be signed to the Town label. And it's just been confirmed that Kim Larkson and Will make a visit to High End Snooker Club and he's going to play against Mink at her game. Thanks, guys, and we'll try and stream that for you as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you to Mega Break. Ta-ta.